Well, if you've done something, I was at the BBC for 27 years and I did the current incarnation of Top Gear for 12. And it was very much my baby. I absolutely adored it and I worked all the time on it, all through the night, and I paid attention to every little tiny bit of it. And then suddenly you're not asked to do that anymore. Then you do feel as though there is a big hole which does need to be filled. And what, which were you saddest about, if, if, it's, if it's at all comparable, um, having to leave Top Gear or having to stop working for the BBC? Uh, equal, actually, because I like the BBC. I mean, it's, there are some dreadful people in it, but there's also some really talented, brilliant people. And um, if you work with them, it's, I think it's a great organisation, and I'll never complain about it. And, so, and I thank them for giving me you know, such a long time there. And what of Dunsfold, you know, the airfield where you used to film it, and what of, of the Top Gear track? And, you know, have you been back? Will you go back? Will there be any closure for you? Um, yes, I've done. I did a charity evening um, a while back and auctioned off the last ever. I'd said I'd go down to Dunsfold, the Top Gear track, and do one last lap in whatever, and then people bid, and it was £100,000 a couple of people came up with. So I've got to go and do that very soon, actually. So go and do one last ever lap of the Top Gear track, which will be actually quite emotional for me because it's, I like driving around there because there's nothing to hit. All right, and, um, as for the future... Um, what can you tell us? What do you want to tell us? Please tell us something about um, you, TV shows and cars, please. You know, and, and is it most likely to be called perhaps House of Cars or Hot Gear or What Gear? Well, I mean, it's the thing we're really working on at the moment, the three of us actually, is a flower arranging show, which is... <laughs> No, it's, it's it, every week we have to go to a petrol not station. Accept, not acceptable it's as an answer. Great, no, you haven't heard that. You haven't heard. You get, you've got to. You've got to get a vase. Maybe you have to travel for exotic flowers, and then you get a vase, and then no, oh no, Hammond's fallen over and broken his vase, and then there's a calamity, and it's be broadly the same. It's just flowers. I'm going to carry on till you tell me something of the truth. Honestly, Chris. Yeah. Honestly, Hand, I have absolutely no idea. Have you talked to America about a television program? I, I have talked and listened. Now, I'm not talked, I've listened. Because, you know, I've been at the BBC for 27 years. So mm. it's the, when I went, when I joined the BBC, everybody was in black and white and talked fast and everybody talked like that, as we've established. And then, of course, you emerge after 27 years and you find the world has changed and you've got to learn how the world works, which is what I've spent the last few weeks doing. And then when I've started to learn how the world works, you can start to work out what to do in it. This but in the meantime, I'm just getting really good at tennis. This is a Michael Howard moment, isn't it, I suppose? <laughs> you couldn't do that, oh, but you see, Michael Howard <laughs> had actually asked somebody to get rid of the prison officer or whoever it was, whereas I haven't. I just, honestly, you could ring up James and Richard, they'd say the same thing, we don't know. But you have been in talks with various broadcasters. No. I've just been listening. Talking would involve me saying something. So you've had meetings with various broadcasters? No, I haven't had a single meeting. Really? No. So how Honestly, did, I how did you listen to them then? If you on the telephone or video conferencing. You see, that's a whole right. new thing as well. So, if you had to bet, would you be on terrestrial or would you be on some kind of interfinger? I have no idea. When will you have an idea? Oh, yeah, but um, weeks, months, maybe a year. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Honestly, you can you can keep on pulling that rather cheeky. Well, game. I have to. I have of to. Of course, you know you. My job. Been, I know. You, you, I would have been disappointed if you hadn't tried to push. But no, it's um. It was very sudden, and you'd, I just would—you'd be a fool to just jump into something. You need to have a look what's out there and what's the All best right, okay. thing to do. 